Hello everyone, welcome back to another unboxing video. Today I have Apple iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now iPhone 14 Pro Max come with four colors, space black, silver, gold, and deep purple. Now the deep purple is the popular one for iPhone 14 Pro Max. I have the gold color because I like the gold color. So let's unbox it. And here is it. Here it is. Let's put the iPhone step aside. And this is the cable Thunderbolt Thunderbolt to USB C cable and some instruction papers and Apple sticker. Now oh, that's the box. Also, let's remove the color. Here it is. Now it is a larger screen size compared to my old uh, Apple iPhone 11 Pro Max. It has 6.7 screen and uh, actually it has an OLED screen and the resolution is 2796 by 1290. So let's compare with the, this with the, my older Apple iPhone 11 Pro Max. As you can see the the 14 Pro Max is a little larger and uh, I just want to apologize for the back screen I have 11 Pro Max damaged back screen so clearly you can see the 14 Pro Max has a larger camera and this time they have a 48 megapixel they upgrade the camera for 48 megapixel Let's get closer. Slightly iPhone 14, slightly bigger compared to 11 Pro Max. Side by side. Both have USB Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt connector in the back. So let's put aside the iPhone. It has the volume button and silent button and this is the power button and I believe this is the antenna so let's power this thing on So let's set up the iPhone 14 Pro Max. English. Select your country region. I mean USA. Select USA. Set up quick manual. Manually. Now I have to choose the my uh, Wi-Fi connector. I need to put a password. 
after I put the Wi-Fi password, then you have to accept the data. You have to read the data policy. And then the next screen is app and data. Choose how you want to transfer app and data to the phone. For this one, I want this as a new phone. So I'm gonna select don't transfer apps and data. Select that. And the next screen, they're asking us to, if you have Apple ID, you can type your Apple ID here. Or if you don't have it, you can put forget password on and don't have an Apple ID. I'm going to connect. I'm going to click don't have an Apple ID for this one. You can create a free Apple ID or set up later in the settings. For this example, I'm going to set up later in settings. Terms and conditions, agree, keep your iPhone up to date, you can set up your iMessage and FaceTime, I'm gonna skip that, not now, location, you can enable or disable I'm gonna put disable location again I will enable it later cellular one also I'm gonna skip for now and the series settings skip screen time I'm gonna skip it right now iPhone analytics if you want to share your data for with Apple you can share it for now I'm gonna I don't share it at the moment and appearance how do you want the appearance if you pre prefer dark you can choose dark and for this example I prefer light appearance click continue and display you want zoom in or standard I click standard for now and emergency SOS ready to help emergency button or crash detection it's enable continue so welcome to iPhone I think we are done the setup right now and this is the Apple uh, home page. So now we are done with the setup. The first thing I like to show you is the new notch. This new notch called Dynamic Island. So basically you can check alerts and current activity in progress such as music that playing background, your timer, and airdrop connection, and directions from maps. So let's see how the timer works on Dynamic Island. To do that, you need to go to the clock app and then click timer and start. And we go to the home page, and as you can see, it's uh, displaying on your dynamic island the timer display on dynamic island what if I press it and as you can see it's going to show the timer information and so the second one I like to show you if I go to the silent button if you click the silent button off and again it's going to show you on the dynamic island what if I want to connect the cable? If I connect the cable, and again, as you can see, it show the information, charging, and the battery percentage on Dynamic Island. So that's Dynamic Island. So the second feature I like to show you is always on display. So what is always on display? It's 
dim the lock screen while still showing helpful information such as time widgets and the wallpapers as you can see right now the always on display on but still you can see the time and the date so if you don't like always on display you how to change it you go to the settings and go to the display and bright click display and bright and scroll down and as you can see always on display if you read it always on display dims the lock screen when you lock your device right so to disable it you can click it and you can click disable it for right now i would like to keep it on so i click and it's on so that's always on display on iphone 14 pro max so the third one i like to i like to go to the phone app camera app and for that i like to change some settings i go to the formats and what if i wants to enable the 48 megapixel one right to do that i need to go to the apple pro row click enable this one and as soon as i enable it's going to give me the option pro row resolution 48 megapixel click that and as you can see it's already been selected if you prefer the 12 megapixel you can click that for now i'm gonna leave as 48 megapixel also if you recording make sure to uh, uh, click 4k to get the best performance so i will i always uh, leave it on 4k all right so that's that so the third one I like to go I like to see the the web browser so as you can see it's very bright how bright uh, it is actually it, it has thousand nits max bright and also it has 1600 net peak bright for HDR and don't forget this one has the promotion technology uh, means it has 120 Hertz refresh rate it's buttery smoothy and there's no lag it's very cool and again i like to show i like to as you can see the battery if if you want to check the battery percentage how to do that to do that you need to go to the settings and you need to find the battery app battery where's the battery um, here it is click the battery and enable the battery percentage and as you can see it's gonna show you the percentage battery percentage so that's that and lastly I like to see how the keyboard works let's type some as you can see the keyboard is getting bigger now it has a 6.7 inch screen so it's much bigger and it is very easy to type so that's basically the apple iphone 14 pro max thank you for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel and have a wonderful day thank you